everybody, Spurgle here, and welcome to episode 7 of my Beginner's Basics Modding Daisy tutorial series. Potentially the final episode, and not really a tutorial episode, just a quick summary of what we've done so far, and I'll show you my first mod. So, so far we have set up Daisy tools, set up our P drive, retextured an item, Tweak the config of an item, packed it, signed it, and published it. We've made a very basic mod. The, the, the first baby steps into modding Daisy. Now, let's have a look at my very first mod. Go to my Daisy workshop. On page 2, you'll find Field Shovel Plus. All this mod does is add back in the vanilla field shovel and give it the functionality to dig out stashes. So it's a really simple mod. If we go to my spur old folder, have a quick look. Field shovel plus. I've got my EDDS file and image, my workshop logo. I have a config, which has nothing more in it. And adding in a new child class of the field shovel with a new name, new description, and a script for it. And in this script, the only difference between this and the vanilla field shovel is I've added in this action and changed the class name. That was my first mod that started me down the path to where I am now. We had several mods on the workshop, which were mostly vehicles, items that were ported. We did a basic server mod at some point with a bit of practice in retexturing clothes, custom loading screen, and some main menu logos and whatnot. I still run this on my test server now. I ported a few random items and made bad food. Vehicles, uh, variations of my vehicles. I've collaborated on a few mods with other people. Made a few samples, including the shoulder slot, the source car, and various other mods. The beginner's basics, which I've now got up on the workshop as well. I hope to make more videos after this one. Probably one more episode of the Beginner's Basics, just setting up Object Builder. Then after that, I will potentially do a few more detailed videos or video series of me porting items. Setting up the textures, choosing items, choosing 3D models to use, and giving them basic functionality. Anyway, I hope my tutorials have helped you and um, please come back and watch some more if I make some more. Cheers guys, bye!